You're welcome to my channel, Simplified English Grammar. Have you subscribed? If not, why not? Please click on the subscription button. Please like, share. Don't forget to click on the notification bell to get notified each time we drop our content. You'll be the first to watch it. Again, if you have questions as a result of your viewing of our previous episode, do well. Write them. We we'll attend to them. Today we'll be talking about something very important, as I said in the last episode. How foreign words form their plural in the English language. You know, there are so many vocabularies that are originally not from the English language. They were actually imported into the English language. And as such, they are finding their places in the English vocabularies. Some of them happens to come from the Greek language, the Latin language, and even the French language. And most of them form their plural form in conformity with those languages where they came from. We are going to see some of these examples. First, those from the Greek language. Those that end in, that's from the Greek language, those that end in I-S, 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 from the Greek language, eventually change to E-S. Let's take some few familiar examples to illustrate this. These examples include analysis, analysis, asis, asis, basis, basis, oasis, oasis, ellipsis, ellipsis, hypothesis, hypothesis, crisis, crisis, thesis, thesis. These are from the Greek language. Again, in the Greek language, we have those that end in O-N. They end in O-N and they change to A to form their plural form. From O-N to A to form their plural form. Let's take these examples also. Examples include criterion, criteria, phenomenon, phenomena, criterion, criteria, phenomenon, phenomena, singular and plural. Just as I mentioned earlier that some words that have come into the English language were also borrowed from Latin. Words that end in U-M change to A to form their plural form in the English language. Those words borrowed from the Latin language into the English language. Let's see some of these examples. These are the examples. Addendum. Addenda. Agendum. Agenda. Stratum. Strata, curriculum, curricula, datum, data, desideratum, desiderata. Again, there are words that end in U-S. The change to I or A to form their plural form. Till in the Latin language. Let's take some examples. Alumnus, alumni, genus, general, locus, loci, or loci, fungus, fungi, bacillus, bacilla, syllabus, syllabi, terminus, termini, stimulus, stimuli. So these are the singular and the plural. Again, from the Latin language, there are words that end in ex in their singular form or ix in the singular form to form their plurality it change to ices ices why those that end in a those that end in a change to ae change to AE. 
We'll take some examples of this and then we shall continue. But before then, if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do it. I'm waiting. Thank you for doing it. Don't forget to like, share. Click on the notification bell to get notified each time we drop our content. Our content will be dropping every Tuesday. And friendly, don't forget to always follow us. Let's take some examples to illustrate this. Appendix. Appendix. Amoeba. Amoeba. Codis. Codice. Formula. Formulae. Matrix. Matrix. Lava. 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 Lover, thank you very much for viewing our channel. Once again, to remind you, like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to click on the notification bell to get notified each time we drop our content. Remember, our content will be dropping twice a week, Tuesdays and Fridays. See you in our next episode. Thank you.